Hey everyone, Jessica Ramesh here. Um, welcome to my kitchen. I thought I would show you today how to make patacones, which is actually a really popular side dish here, but it can also be just a, a late afternoon snack, maybe with a nice cold beer. And it is the first thing that I learned how to make after I moved here. And you make this dish with plantain. So I have here um, just a regular banana, which you're all familiar with, I'm sure. And then some of you may not be familiar with these plantains. You have to cook these in order to eat them. And they're really, um, they're starchy, but they're also packed full of good nutrition. So you don't have to feel too guilty about eating these, but um, the dish that I'm making today is a total comfort food. And usually you want to use very green plantains for this dish. This one started to go a little yellow, um, but it's still going to be delicious. Um, the yellow ones are usually used to make a sweet fried plantain dish um, called bajadas. And if once your plantain gets super yellow and sweet, you can make a mushier dish with um, sugar and cinnamon called platanos en tentación, which is a big favorite here. But um, my favorite is the salty patacones that we're going to make. Okay, so these are super simple to deal with. I'm just going to cut off each end. And I already washed these. They have a really thick skin. So you can even like wash them with soap because you're just going to throw that skin away. Now I'm going to take my paring knife and on the outside I'm just going to very carefully make a little slit. And that'll make it easy for me to peel off this skin. And it'll kind of come off in sections. And these, they have like this residue that gets on your fingers. So it might feel a little weird to you. Just wash your hands. Okay, I've washed that sticky residue off my hands and now I'm just going to cut these into um, rounds and these are about an inch, you could do an inch and a half. My assistant is upset at me because I'm not letting him help. Could you please go clean your bedroom or something? <laughs> um, okay, so I've got my slotted spoon now. I'm going to put four of these on here and very gently drop them into the oil. And it starts bubbling right away. So yay, I got the temperature right. Yeah, I think I'm going to fit all of these in this little pot. And what I love about this dish is that it's really foolproof. You, at this point, you don't have to worry whether or not you're, you're cooking these all the way through because we're actually going to take everything out and we're going to fry again. So really, you just want to get a little bit, um, get them a little crispy and brown on the outside and then take them out. We're just going to let those fry um, still on kind of low heat. I might punch it up to medium if I, if I feel like it's not cooking um, quickly enough. And I'm just going to cook them until they get a little toasty on the outside. I'll show you what they look like. So a couple minutes went by and the temperature did drop a little bit. It wasn't bubbling away quite as merrily. So I punched the heat up to medium and now it is bubbling away merrily. So I'm going to give it another couple minutes. Okay, these are a lovely golden brown. So I'm going to take them out. And I think for this part of the process, I'm going to use some tongs. So going to carefully put this here 
I'm going to turn off the heat just for a minute and move these over. So, very carefully bring this back over here. And then uh, I had mixed some water and salt. It's not completely mixed there. So, it's traditional to dip these dip these in salt water instead of actually sprinkling salt on them so you get a really nice uniformly salty patacon okay so these have soaked um, in salt water for a minute on each side at least a minute and you can do more it's not a big deal if you forget about them for a little while so now we're just going to take each one and smush it good if you have a fancy smusher, then that's great. I, um, a lot of people here will you just use the bottom of a glass, but sometimes um, they won't be perfectly flat. So I, I quite like using a bowl because I can put one hand on either side. So here we go. Perfect. And I like them. Um, some people like them crispier. Some people like them thicker. It's totally up to you what you want to do. These are about a centimeter thick, so um, I like them. I like them to have some crispy bits and some softer bits, so not a big deal. This one's a little thicker. That's fine too. Okay, I'm almost done um, smushing my patacones. Um, if you're afraid of things splattering. You can always use a, a splatter guard or a metal sieve on top, but um, I patted these down a little bit and they're not giving me any trouble. And I'm just going to give these a couple minutes and I'll just pull them out when they're nice and crisp. Again, not rocket science, just whatever you like is fine. Okay, just waiting for those to fry. So in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about plantains. They're actually a super common ingredient here. As a matter of fact, any Panamanian lunch is going to have plantains on the plate. Typically you'll have the halas, which are firm yellow plantains sliced on a bias and fried. And those add just a hint of sweetness to an otherwise savory meal. And then on the plate you'll also have rice, beans or lentils, and then the meat can be pork, beef, chicken, or fish. Panamanians eat a variety of proteins so yeah that's a typical Panamanian lunch okay I think these are just about ready to pull out when your plantains aren't very green they're a little yellow on the yellow side then this is just the sugars that will brown up like that and it's actually it's delicious Okay, I thought it would be fun to do a little taste test and try out some different toppings. Um, here I've got the most traditional. I've mixed some, just some regular mustard, regular ketchup, and my favorite Panamanian hot sauce. And here I have a bean dip. You can buy one or make your own. Um, I made this one with just refried beans from the can and some yellow pepper sauce very quick and easy and then on a couple of these I put some brie with a little slice of fresh jalapeno so I think before I try them I'm gonna serve myself something to drink Panama has lots of new microbreweries and craft beer bottlers and they have prohibited the sale of alcohol don't know how long that's gonna last so this is my last beer. <laughs> All right, so let's do a little taste test here. I'm going to try one of my patacones with this bean dip. Mmm. That's great. Let me do the traditional hot sauce, ketchup, and mustard. <laughs> that might be my favorite. Sorry to talk with my mouth full. Mm. 
These are so good, y'all. And I was hungry. I'm thirsty. Okay, and last but not least, something I haven't tried before. Brie with a little slice of uh, jalapeno on top. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, that works. Remember that plantain that I used was starting to go yellow, so it had a hint more sweetness to it um, than you get out of a really green plantain. So the sweetness of the plantain with the brie and the jalapeno, that, that all works great together. So you know, go with whatever you have on hand in your pantry. I, I hope you try this recipe out, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is the first time I've ever tried to film a video while cooking something, so if you're new to cooking, Maybe don't try filming yourself until you're comfortable in the kitchen with knives and hot oil and whatnot. But um, anyways, this was a, a fun experiment. And uh, until next time, take care. Be well. Bye.